it's Tyrant again with Anytime Fitness, Katie here on Pinno. And uh, today we're back with another Weight Training Wednesday tip for you. And today I wanted to share with you, especially any of those of you that are dealing with shoulder pains, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a, what you can do to kind of deal with that, especially if you're working and doing things like chest movements or shoulder press movements and such, where a lot of that kind of pain can really uh, creep up and show itself. So just a quick thing about the shoulder. When it comes to the shoulder and what it's doing, the shoulder has this kind of rotation in and out, up and down. And when we're doing these kinds of movements, we often feel pain um, in this joint area. Now the reason why we feel this pain, or at least one of the most common reasons for those of us that are exercising, is because we get things impinged, or what they would call, yeah, it would just be really just kind of cramped up in a really small space, and there you would start to feel pains as things kind of get cramped up. Now, there is this uh, subacromial space that kind of sits right underneath this bone. You can actually feel it right here on your shoulder. And what happens is as you raise your shoulder, as you go above your head, it closes off the space here underneath this bone. And that tends to be where we start to feel some of that sharp pain, right? Is when that starts to get uh, closed off. And so things like your rotator cuff or supraspinatus is what they call in your bursa, that all sits under here, these nice little tendons. And those get impinged or really pinched off. And that's where our pain starts to come from as we lift our shoulder and close off the space here and so anytime we have these kinds of shoulder issues what we want to try to do is to create as much space in this area as possible so they're not pinched off these look these tendons that are being used often we want to give them as much space as possible so for those of you that are doing things like the bench press one thing that the bench press does often is as we go and we lie down and we go through the motion of doing the bench press we oftentimes take the bar off and what happens is, is that we keep this bar really, really high, right, in relation to our chest, right? And what happens is, is that as the bar comes down, you notice my shoulder comes all the way out here and it closes this whole area off. And that's where that rotator cuff and that bursa starts to get pinched. And that's where we feel the pain, right? So you often would hear someone say, well, why don't you just go to dumbbells? Because there, that's where you won't feel that pain as much. Now the reason that that is true is because what happens when you have dumbbells is that oftentimes we bring the dumbbells down a little bit lower, therefore opening up the space between this bone that sits right here, right, and our shoulder joint, allowing more room for our supraspinatus or the rotator cuff and that bursa to be able to move freely, therefore causing less pain or no pain at all. So one thing you can do if you're doing bench press in order for you to be able to have that same benefit is that when you do it, get in the habit of bringing the bar lower as to where it comes down in your chest, therefore opening more space up in that shoulder joint, causing less pain and less inflammation. Now the danger is, is that if you don't adjust the things you're doing when you're working shoulders or you're working chest, this will all become inflamed and ultimately you can tear that supraspinatus or that rotator cuff and that's something that really is difficult to come back from. And so here I'm going to come over here and we're going to show you on uh, dumbbells real quickly what you can do and why it's so effective. So if I grab just, let's say, ooh, that's not so light, um, here. So if I have the dumbbells, one benefit is that I can bring these dumbbells down like this therefore giving me more space in my shoulder joint. I can even rotate them in a neutral position, giving me even more space, or even further, I can turn them all the way like this, bringing my shoulders completely down in this position and doing a press like this. This is something that makes dumbbells quite useful when we're dealing with shoulder pains. So there you are, there's your tip. That's some useful information. I hope that will help you in being able to deal with any kind of shoulder pains you might have. So there's your Wednesday tip from Inside Fitness here in Katie on Pinnock. We'll see you guys in one week.